Hello everyone, we will continue the topic usual ABAP class and in the previous video we created the usual ABAP class method, we have written the logic in the usual ABAP class method, we call the method inside the program and lastly we covered the most important point that class method is acting as a modularization technique. Modularization means dividing the program into small, small parts. We have not written the logic in the program. We have written the logic inside the class method and we called the class method inside the program. Same case we did with function module also. Yes, if you remember this function module also the same to same thing. And now we did the same to same thing through class methods. Now we will understand the output in the debugging mode. How we are getting a expected output. So I will put a breakpoint on this 14th number line and I will run this program. I will go for 44. You might have different data in the system. You can check in that table. Now I am on 14th number line. So as of now, the object is initial. The object has not created yet because I am on 14th number line. Now I will execute this line using F6 because F6 is line by line execution. Now you can see the object of the class has been created. If the object of the class has been created, now can I call the method? Yes, I can call the method. What is the name of the method? Get underscore data. Now you can see from 16th to 20th number line directly we are getting a dot. It's from the 16th and it is ending at dot. There is no dot in between. The dot or period is directly on the 20th number line. So if I will do F6, it will simply simply execute and the control will come to 22nd number line. But I want to go inside this method. I want to go inside this method because we have written the logic there. I want to show you that part also in the debugging mode. So if I want to go inside this method, which key I need to press F5. Because what is F5? F5 is step by step execution. See, if I will do F6, this part will simply execute and control will come here and we will get a output. But I will want to go inside this method. So I will do F5. F5 is step by step execution. Now you can see. This is the logic which we have written in the class method. This is our input which we gave and this is our first internal table. First internal table is completely, completely blank as of now because this query has not executed yet. Now I am doing F6. Now first query executed. And you can see we have one record in the internal table. We have one record in the internal table for how many columns? Four columns. Now you can see size sub RC is zero because our this query processed successfully. Now we have if condition. If first internal table is not initial. Is our first internal table is not initial? Yes, because one record came in the internal table. It means our internal table is not null, is not 
blank. So this if condition is true. I'm doing F6. Now I'm on this particular line now, 28th number line. Now in this query, we are fetching data from which table? VB AP table. But based upon what? First internal table. Based upon what? First internal table. And of all entries of this internal table, which column we are referring? VBELN. VBELN. What is the value in the first internal table? VBELN. What is the value in the first internal table? VBELN. 44. 44. So this 44 will act as an input for VBELN column of VBAP table. It will fetch the data of these three columns and data will come into this internal table. Currently, this internal table has zero record and three column. I am doing F6. Now you can see we have two records in the second internal table. Now I am on to this particular 35 number line now. So our first internal table has one record. Our second internal table has how many record? Two records. Whenever this line will execute from the internal table, first record will go to work area. Just see, work area is blank as of now. Whenever I will execute this statement from the internal table, from this internal table, this record move to work area. Just see, we have the record in the work area. What is first work area? VBELN 44, 44. Now, just see now I'm on 36 number line. What is first work area? VBELN 44, 44. Input is on the right hand side. VBELN is equal to 44. It is acting as an input for which internal table? Second internal table. Check in this internal table. If for the first record, is VBELN is equal to 44? Yes, VBELN is equal to 44. So whenever this loop will execute, this record, this record, will go to work area, this LWA data one. If I will show you LWA data one, it is blank as of now. But when 44 will match with 44, this record will go to work area. Now you can see we have the record in the work area, second work area. Now, we have the data in the first work area. We have the data in the second work area. And we are passing it to output work area. Just see. If I will show you output work area, it is blank as of now. Now you can see VBELN. Firstly, VBELN came. Then date. Then time. Then name. Then post not then metina so yes you seen we executed these six statements and from these two work area we pass it to our this final output work area now see internal table is blank as of now whenever append will execute so now we have the first record in the final internal table of how many column six column now inner loop has two records so now loop will come for which iteration second iteration now what is the input input is still 44 still 44 now for the second record is vb eln is 44 yes it means this is also true 
So this particular record now will go to which work area? This work area. This work area. Now you can see we have this second row, row in this particular work area. Now we are passing the values from these two work area to final work area. So our this say work area filled. Now we are going for append. Now you can see we have second record in the final internal table. Now we have filled the internal table of this. We have filled the final internal table. Now inner loop finished. Now control will come to outer loop. Outer loop. This is our outer loop. In the outer loop, we have how many record? One record. One is already processed. So this loop is also done. So now this LT output return the result to what? LT underscore final. So we have these two records. This loop will continue two times and we are displaying the output using write statement. If I will run, you can see we have the result. So what is the summary of this video? In this video, we understood the full process. We understood the full output in the debugging mode. And it is just, just like a function module. Whenever we call the function module and we want to go inside the function module, we did F5. Now, rather than function module, we have the class method. So we also did F5 at this point of time when we want to debug, when we want to check the debugging result. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.